Hello, I'm Shatavdi Das with Bentley Systems. As we all know, water tanks are used as large container for storing water. So, in this video, we will see how to model an elevated water tank of capacity 48,000 liters using StatPro Connect Edition. And we will check the plate responses. First, let's open the structure wizard and select model type as frame model. By double clicking on the B frame, we will insert the model parameters. We provide a length of 4 meter for the single bay and a width of 6 meter for the two bays. The height inserted is 9 meters for three bays. We apply the parameters and merge the model in StatPro with the origin at 000 coordinate. We copy the corner nodes and do the translational repeat in the y direction. We create one step with spacing 2 meters and link the steps. We connect the nodes by adding beams. Next, we add plates to form an enclosed space to store water. Plates are required to be meshed or else they will connect only to the rest of the structure at the corners. As a result, the load from the slab will be transferred to the column directly without being transferred to the beams. Thus, the load path would not be accurate if the plates aren't meshed. We select the bottom and top plates to perform meshing. We select the plate mesh from the ribbon toolbar and opt for quadrilateral meshing. Next, we insert the division along the length and width in accordance to the aspect ratio. Similarly, we will perform meshing for the side plates. We remove the redundant beams which were drawn for plate references. We will now define the sections for beams and columns. For beams, we assign a cross section of 0.45 by 0.3 meter square. And for column, we enter 0.5 by 0.5 meter square section. We provide the plate thickness of 180 mm or 0.18 meters. Next, we provide supports to the bottom nodes of the structure. In this example, we will use fixed supports. This is the 3D rendered view of the water tank. Moving on to loading, to apply lateral load on the water tank, we add seismic load cases. We create a dead load case. To add load items, we highlight the dead load case and click on Add. We add sulfate in the y direction with a factor of minus 1, which is acting downward. We choose to add a pressure of minus 20 kN per meter square on the full plate in the global y direction. 
This has been calculated by considering the density of water, acceleration due to gravity and full height of the water in the tank. We assign the self weight to the whole structure by selecting assign to view. Pressure of minus 20 kN per meter square is applied on the bottom plates. We go to top view. To provide hydrostatic pressure on the side plates, we must check the local axis of the plates. We will select the plates of one side and check on selected objects to view only the selected plates. We click on level settings and turn the plate orientation. We can see the direction of local z-axis is outward. The water also tends to flow in an outward direction, hence creating pressure on the plate. So, to add hydrostatic pressure, we select the plates and provide a pressure of positive 20 kN per meter square. As the direction of local z is in compliance with the direction of the water. We will interpolate the pressure in the global y direction with the pressure direction set as local z. Similarly, for other three sides, we also add the hydrostatic pressure by considering the direction of local z axis of the plates. So far, we have considered only the self weight on the top plate. We can also generate the load combinations as per the required codes. Next, we define the command for analysis and run the analysis. Now we view the output file. We can see there are no errors or warnings being displayed here. Let's go to post processing to see the plate results. We select the bottom plate. We go to results by clicking plate element in the workflow page control. We set the stress type as maximum absolute. Here we see the range of stresses are represented by a specific color. We are in the top view to see the stress distribution on the bottom plate. By double clicking on the plates, we can check the center stresses, principal stress and displacement, and corner stresses of the plate element. So, at this point, we should be in a position to model water tank and check its plate responses due to loading. That's all for now. See you next time. Thank you.